I'm not sure if I'm ready for this again. I didn't think we'd be revisiting this, but that extra episode's out. I don't know where it is. Right, bonus episode. Bonus episode farewells out. I'm not sure if I'm ready to say goodbye to these girls forever. But all good things must come to an end. So I'm ready to have my heart warm and then immediately torn apart. Oh, look at the little pirate flag and the little um, compass and everything. So, so nice. Apparently, this is supposed to take place before Max leaves for Seattle. That's not creepy at all. Okay. Oh. What the? Are... <laughs> we are not blowing them up. Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. She will. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. You said a bad word. Oh. <laughs> shit, don't run into each other. This can only go terribly. You've made the court too long. Yikes. Oh, the bed's in a different spot. Tell me that wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen. You are wait, what's A and oh here we go. You're insane. That explosion was massive. You say that like it's a bad thing. It isn't. It's Pretty a good sure thing. Pretty sure your mom would think so. Let's hope she didn't hear. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. Ah, uh, fair enough. Well, I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It says trash. So, Max or Chloe? I bet this Max. Oh. This is It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. Oh, no, she's about to leave. Here's a the thing. Days, my whole family moves to see I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. If you leave for another state, but country, you whatever, your best friend that you're leaving her. don't just cut all contacts because that's not cool. It sucks. I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. I can never tell if Chloe is my best friend because she makes me do crazy things or despite it. Isn't that what the best friends are? I'm leaving Sharky till last. <gasps> no, never. Don't trash Sharky. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is Pretty cool. Acceptance letter. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. Fuck. This is still when Williams was, was around. To the parents of Chloe Price. Dear parents, congratulations. Your child, Chloe Price, has been accepted for the September 2008 uh, admission to Blackwell Academy. We have offered places to approximately 100 students out of 1,200 applicants. Your child excelled in all criteria for admission. An open house for admitted students and parents will be held on March the 26th. April 2nd is the deadline for... Where am I? It's the deadline to inform us of your intentions regarding admission. Your admission reply form is included. For those who require financial aid, please contact Blackwell's office for financial assistance. 
We look forward to welcoming you and Chloe to the Blackwell Academy family. Sincerely, Marco S. Gonzalez, Director of Admissions. Sick. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? It's shit. The classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. All right, Chloe's the science nerd. What about nerd. the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're fine. Push further. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know. I just I like hanging out with normal people. You. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I I hate fake people. You're real. Yeah, Thanks. I am. Pretty fucking real here. I will not trash Mr. Sharky. C camera. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His fort. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. Take the camera and use it. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Perfect. Just perfect. Actually, <laughs> it's kind of cool. Hashtag accidental selfie. Miss Madeline's. I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. Um, something of magic. I can't tell it. Report card. As usual, oh. Chloe's grades are better than oh. mine. I still kick her butt in PE though. See, Chloe Elizabeth Price. Uh, Earth Science A, English A, World History A minus, Pre Algebra A, Spanish A minus, English was A minus. Physical education B. What happened to you, Chloe? Well, we, we we know what happened to her. Chloe Bear. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. Oh, this was our first unsupervised concert together. Something and it the was screamers. So much fun. Something. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Not really. No, not yet. I guess... I'm still recovering from the last show. Fair enough. Oh shit. All right. Back to the junk mines. Board game. Chloe Oopsies. And I haven't played this game in forever. And I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. Well, Oopsies is going to the trash. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just Why? Just beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. You beat me. <laughs> That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. Guess so. Jeez, she's not going to let me trash anything. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. Save. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It's, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart that never stopped you from wearing it before it's fine really okay what if I just I can't 
can't believe Chloe wants to part with this. Seems so unlike her. See, what's in doll head? Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. Sure. Fuck you, doll. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. See, that's the thing, isn't it? I I was told by my mother to say, hey, go donate some of your clothes. And half Chloe's the time I'm like, always preferred imaginary uh, animals to real ones. You know, well, besides bonkers, sure, I'll do, I'll do it. And then I keep browsing, I keep looking at my clothes and it's like, Oh, I, I, I need this, I need this, I can still wear this, I can still wear this. I'm never, I, I don't wear this anymore, but I could. You know, Chloe's lots of stuff. Up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. How crime fighting I hope Dr. is... Dr. okay. How crime fighting has really soared since you create these rocket boosters. Of course, the power of flight makes things easier. Dr. Kloenstein? <laughs> Alright, let's open up this. Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. <laughs> Shady Mesh Abe. What if I trash this? Like, can I start trashing stuff and Chloe's gonna be like, uh uh, no way. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? Sharpie boob jobs. You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. Yep, she's not letting me trash anything. Uh, skateboard. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. I love, I love games with reflections. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. Okay, what's in here? An onion. We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. What is it? It's like, okay, it's a, oh, it's a jawbreaker. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. Lick it. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy. It's a box. Whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but oh, that's the this um, is pretty cool. That's the Blackwell um thing. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. Please don't let me trash Mr. Sharky. You better not be thinking what I think you are. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <laughs> Sorry, chum. That's better. I have I have a stuffed shark as well. And I keep hold of him for the I'll keep hold of him for the rest of my life. Lie down. Max, a ponytail is clipping so into the um, this room, into the this bed, house, this town, all in the past now, or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's. Always starting things, pulling us into adventures. I can't 
can't imagine life without her. Maybe I haven't told her I'm leaving yet because I still can't believe it's real myself. Explore Oregon. I, I love these like these little snippets of music. It's so 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 relaxing. Okay, I guess we're back here then. Let's get up. Alrighty then, let's talk to Chloe. That's the uh, nothing else in this room, right? Up. Ended up throwing nothing out. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Sure. Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. Tell her now. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... Uh, I... Don't know how Holy to... Shit! Max, hold that thought. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Why'd you throw you that like that? Any idea what this is? To pirate related. Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Well, time to listen. To find out. <laughs> A vast future wayfarer. We have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> Captain Bluebeard and Long <laughs> Silver. You were such so, You're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek, see my eyes spot two fair pirate wenches. <laughs> what? Yeah, and get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, this is so project. charming. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Suppers in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, if it's treasure ye seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned, the journey will be treacherous and full of treachers. Nice. To find the treasure Rolls right off the tongue. Isles, you will need the map from the manuscript of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And uh bye. <laughs> well Dude, that was Hilarious. Hilarious. We were so so ridiculous. We still are, Max. We still are. Are we? Okay, okay. Forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. We go what now? I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. Alright. Oh, that's our ship. The Bane of Arcadia. <laughs> oh, that's a... They look exact... Is, are they wearing the same shirts? Like, is Max wearing the same shirt now? Pogo the pirate. Pirate rules. No bathing. No boys. 
No sharing pirate secrets. Always share plunder. Always bury treasure. Always protect fellow pirates. Failure to obey these rules will result in plank walking. Captain Slog. <coughs> I don't want to read handwriting. Another day of plunder and destruction on the high seas. Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil Commander Shelley, enemy to all pirates, has threatened to take the map from us if she sees it. Surely she has heard how valuable the treasure is and wants to steal it from us. We are doing our best to keep the map hidden as we continue to work on it. Because our enemies want our treasure so bad, we must make sure the map is only readable to us, Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. To more plunders and riches, Captain Bluebeard, Long Max Silver. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. It is the map. Hey, check this out. Who the stole our map? Out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? You threw our pirate map so away. So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. But where could it be? Drawings. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Chloe Price, Miss Shelley. Uh, 100%. Great job as always, Chloe. Now, please pay attention to classes. They're drawing pictures with Maxine. Social Studies, Stars and Stripes, Chapter 11. Civil War began when the Southern States wanted to succeed from the Union. The President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, gave the Gettysburg Address and, and, is and issued the Emancipation Proclamation. The people who fought to end slavery were called Abolitionists. Harriet Tubman worked with the Underground Railroad to help save help slaves escape to freedom. In 1864, Congress paid, paid passed the Thirteenth Amendment, a change or addition to the Constitution ending slavery. Okay, so what what we're looking for? Her school supplies, yeah. Textbooks. Do you reckon it's in there? That's a page. Hello. Bingo. Bingo. Sh knew it. It's Chloe's secret lair into the dark cavern where the amulet is to Treasure Island and into Price Castle. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? We need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, aka the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Still there? You think it's still there? Should be, as long as the clean police haven't gotten to it first. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Somehow. Yep, Here's what somehow. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. The pirate you ship. The swings. Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! Swearing a I'll lot. I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. Swearing a lot for a this has fourteen to be my year old. Last day here. Might as well have one final pirate adventure. Wait, she said it's the last few days. Why is this the last day? Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago. But Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. She deserves to know that you're leaving. Come on. Don't be a piece of shit. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. 
I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. Oh, look at her slouch. Like, Max, stand straight. God, look at your neck. Oh, it's Joyce's uniform. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. Great, now I'm hungry. It's so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. I don't think I could ever handle a real life murder investigation. Huh. Oh, the irony. I don't think I could ever handle a real life murder investigation. Uh, Tollbridge and Oliver Sharp Mystery, You Will Pay With Your Life by Ed Onieda. Photo. Aw, Chloe's parents are so cute. S Aw, oh, oh, it's a pregnancy photo with William who looks a lot like Warren. That's weird. I I'm stuck in a thing. Max. <laughs> Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. Hmm. Cigar quit nick cigar quit gum. Take control back. Nicotine gum. Twelve pieces of nicotine gum. See the back for medicinal warnings. Is that an email from the principal at Blackwell? Chloe did act a little strange when I asked her about school earlier. Am I snooping? Is that an email from the principal at Blackwell? Yes, I'm snooping. Chloe did act a little strange when I asked her about school earlier. Snoop. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. What about? Mm. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Price. I would like to begin by saying we are thrilled to have Chloe at Blackwell. Rest assured, her scholarship is not in jeopardy in any way. However, it seems she's having trouble transitioning into this new, more challenging environment. I am emailing to set up a time to talk about the incident that occurred last week. I am very concerned about Chloe's behavior and would like to work with you to take steps to correct it as soon as possible. I'm sure you are dedicated to Chloe's su success here as we are. The future needs excellent regards Raywells. Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. Ray, Chloe was not the only student who acted out that day and if you ask me, Marissa Rogers isn't the victim, she's the bully. Maybe if both sides of the story were heard before placing blame, your school would be less challenging environment for your students. Focus on your school, and I'll focus on my daughter, William Price. Oh, William. Voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. Uh, Joyce. Voicemail for you. These are the type of people I exactly, I, uh, are exactly why I didn't want Chloe at Blackwell. We'll figure this out soon, I promise. I forgot to tell you, Mrs. Rogers called while we were out yesterday and left a message. It's still on the answering machine. Please be careful when you listen to it. I don't want Chloe to overhear. We need to figure out how to handle this. I know the principal said her scholarship isn't in any danger, but I still worry. Love you. From Joyce to Joyce? Huh. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Aaron Price. Who the fuck is Aaron Price? Thanks for the pressure washer. Oh, it's William's brother, I guess. Hi, Aaron. Finally used your pressure washer today, and I wanted to say thanks again for letting me borrow it. Works like a charm. It's not our dream house, but it can at least have the right color. If you want to come over next weekend and give me a hand, there'll be, there'll be a cold beer in for you. Give me a call. Hope everything's at uh, everything at work's going well, and tell Linda I said hello, William. Plane tickets. Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, so cool. They're going to Phoenix. Low strikes? <laughs> How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? I don't know, man. Low strikes is kind of cool. awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. Look at Williams, Lilo. If this is what you want, we'll find a way to make it work. That's sweet. Can I go downstairs? I've got to find that amulet before I meet Chloe out back. 
All right. Bathroom first. Oh shit! It's William's Seems toolbox. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Seems like every dad's always got a project around the house. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. I don't either. But then again, I'm. Chloe's mom bought me like... a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well, I used to. Oh, Max, don't think like that. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. Yeah. That's the that's that's the trouble with cat <gasps> the pirate towel. Because Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. I always wanted to be a diver when I was a kid. Like a marine bio biologist that studies animals and like you know go diving in like because I love sharks. And then I realized I my favorite place in the house, but I need to head to the attic. And then I realized I hated the open water because I'm, I'm scared. Here we go. Release me. There it is. The dark cavern. Crap. I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. Short. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. The fucking crate. Come on, Max. Are you tall enough now? <laughs> nope, it's still can't reach. Dark. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. An, a, 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 a box? The toolbox. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Chloe's room has always been home base. It's hard to think this might be the last game we ever plan here. This won't be big enough for me to reach, but maybe I can stack things on top of it. Stack. there. I just need a few more inches. You sure? Why don't you just try now? Not bad for an improvised stepladder, but it's still not tall enough. Hmm. Something in the toilet, perhaps? Or not. Maybe the toolbox? Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Uh, there's nothing around. Alright, I need another stack. I just need a few more inches to reach books. the attic. If I stack a bunch of books on the stool, I could probably reach the attic. Cool, sure. Let's stack some books. The worst, isn't it, when you have like dust covered books and like books that you don't actually read lying around? I've got loads of them. <laughs> I think that should be tall enough. Why don't you give it a shot then? <laughs> then Joyce comes in like, Max, what the what the hell are you doing? 